Good morning. It is Thursday, May 17th. I'm Lauren Prisville. And I'm Tim Ryan. A Denton County woman is mourning the deaths of her three children and her boyfriend by her ex-husband. She's the lone survivor of this shooting at a home in the town of Ponder and Fox Sports. Dan Godwin is there with the latest. Dan. Well, Lauren, behind me is a community pavilion here in Ponder. Neighbors have stopped by to leave crosses, stuffed animals, a few notes as well. And people came together at this spot last night. No one seemed to really know the family well, but they shared their grief about a terrible crime that left five people dead, including three children. Just know that we are not alone because we have community members that are willing to step out and say, I'm here for you, I support you, I love you. During last night's vigil, neighbors tried to offer words of comfort to the woman who survived being shot by her ex-husband. Investigators say Justin Painter also shot and killed his three children and his ex-wife's boyfriend, Seth Richardson. Painter then turned the gun on himself. From her hospital bed, where she is recovering from a gunshot wound, Amanda Simpson shared her agony on Facebook Live. So now, I don't have my babies. You all guys know that they were my, my everything, my purpose to breathe. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to act. I'm at a loss. In the video, Simpson also expressed anger towards the judge who handled her divorce case. She said her ex-husband had previously tried to commit suicide and that he was mentally unstable, but she said the judge ignored her warnings. Now, one neighbor who talked to Fox 4 said people saw the father and ex-husband arrive at the home on Lone Star Park Lane on Wednesday morning and take the children inside that house. Reporting live in Ponder, Dan Godwin on Good Day.